What's up guys, Jason here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 21 squad builder on my channel. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the skill squad I do use in FIFA 21. Now this skill squad will cost you probably around 500 to 600,000 coins um, depending on how cheap you can pick the players up for. So in the goalkeeper position we do have a Schmeichel. Now I do also use Leno, I sort of alternate between the two. I'm not really sure who I prefer too much. I think Schmeichel is probably better at saving long shots and Leno is better at saving you know one on one. So um, both have the pros, both have at their cons. And if you're wondering why some of these you know games and goals and assists are so weird it's because it's sometimes play squad battles um so a lot of these ones especially on ziek i do believe and um, he has like an insane goal to game ratio or something like that um but yeah, actually a lot of those were in squad battles and um, as you can see there 422 assists 362 goals in 203 games so sort of the assists and the goals take with a pinch of salt but this is the squad um when i do play foot champs as well i do swap tiago for alan i do play aaron wambasaka in the right mid position and then i also do play leno in gold so as you can probably tell already, this is a three at the back squad. Now, this probably doesn't work for most people just because, you know, they are competitive players. But with me, I just love to skill around and mess around, score some nice goals, have some fun. Don't really care too much about winning unless it's in foot champs. Um, so yeah, this is a squad. As I've already said, it will cost you probably around six, seven hundred thousand coins. Um, depending on your one you're watching this video as well, this squad obviously may vary in price. So anyway, guys, this has been the squad. Now let's get into the highlights. Also, before we do go into the highlights of this video, I just want to say if you do enjoy this video, don't get to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. Um, I really want to try and hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It sounds like a crazy goal, um, but hopefully I can do it. Um, so now moving in to the highlights. So I'm basically just going to be taking you through the team, saying the pros, the cons um, and areas I think that it can be improved. So starting from the goalkeeper, Schmeichel or Leno, very solid keepers. Um, you know, I think Schmeichel has a few mistakes in him as well and also Leno sometimes it's like he has no hands um, in some like foot champs matches I've been playing with him and it's like he just lets goals in that shouldn't be let in um, you know especially from long range as well he's not as great as Schmeichel at saving shots but honestly I think it might just be FIFA keepers in general they all make the same mistakes um, I'm probably eventually going to upgrade to David De Gea he seems like probably the best Premier League goalkeeper this year um, in my opinion so I'm going to hopefully get him soon then when it comes to the defense now a lot of people are probably laughing that I've got David Luiz in there and I'm probably going to get slated in the comments for this but I actually really like David Luiz in real life and in FIFA I um, you know I think he's a great guy um, and FIFA is just one of those fun centre-backs you know he's got some decent shooting you know he's more of like a CDM type of player that's why I do have him in um, the central centre-back position so he sort of acts more as like a CDM and can move into midfield if needed um, but yeah David Luiz is a very solid lacks the pace um, so sometimes it will absolutely get, you know, destroyed for pace, what is a bit of a con. But apart from that, you know, really, really solid. Um, and I like how we can pass and shoot as well as a centre-back. Um, Lindelof there, solid, you know, nothing too special, um, but he's not terrible either, you know, just a solid centre-back. And then Bailly, he's actually very, very good. Probably the best centre-back out of the three. Um, really fun player to use. Um, you know, really good pace, really good strength, um, you know, decent dribbling as well and decent passing. So yeah, really, really good centre-back by E. Would definitely recommend. He's really cheap as well. Um, most of these players or quite a lot of these players are first owner for me in the defence. Um, but I think Bailly is only like 1k, 2k. So he's really, really cheap if you're looking for a Premier League centre-back. Um, so then moving in to the midfield, we obviously have Rashford on the left, who is insane. He's like Mbappe in my opinion. Um, obviously doesn't have the strength and maybe finishing and a few of the stats aren't quite as good. But he's so, so good this year. I would definitely recommend. Um, Pogba again, absolute beast. If you haven't seen my player review already, go and check him out. Um, Thiago. He's all right, you know, he's again lacking a bit of pace, but he's dribbling ball control passing really good. Um, and then obviously in the right mid position, I am playing Zaha. Again, very solid player, you know, good at scaling, probably like a 7 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10 when it comes to scaling. And obviously he has strength, um, what is very, very nice. Finishing isn't the greatest, but apart from that, he is very solid. And I do want to try and get my hands on that inform card. And um, then the front three of Mares, Saint-Maximin and Ziyech. Now Ziyech probably isn't an out and out 
striker. Um, if a dead of the coins, I would probably have that inform Rashford card or even the inform Zaha card there instead. Um, but he's actually surprisingly very, very good for scaling. Um, him and Mares, you always get mixed up between because they look so similar in game. Um, Mares again, very solid. You know, good shooting, good passing. Lacks a tiny bit of pace. If you had an inform card, uh, with like a special card to improve that pace, that would be great. But a really, really good scaler. And then Saint Maximin again. If you watch my review on his normal card, he is absolutely unreal. One of the best scalers on FIFA 21 we've used so far. So guys, this has been the squad builder. If you enjoyed it, as I've said, leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. That would be the world to me. Like honestly, um, YouTube now, I'm really focusing on it, really going hard, trying to upload every single day. It is a big grind, but it is worth it. So make sure you do leave a like on the video. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.